Hello, people. I'm back and in a new house. Flat. So today we're going to attempt to do this can. 1760, no, 1700, 1760, six pound a can with lead. And it's all thanks to Detective Kev. Stick a little beer, go subscribe to who showed us how to do this. I've done, well, this, this cannon is, it's the carriage and cannon is one complete cast. Uh, give an example, that's what it's like. Whereas the other ones, the three pound or it was, you get the, you do the cannon separate, and the carriage and the wheels. So this is a bit more difficult because of just how it is. And I'm, this came out not too bad. It's the wheels, what are the hardest thing. So right, just say well ventilated, but I can't do this outside because I'm upstairs. I've got a well ventilated right by the window here. My heater is sat on top of the source, but it's not to be burned anywhere. And I have my uh, special mask. Yep, which will be on, but I'll be out of the way while this is heating up. So, with the magic of video, let's melt some med. Med, lead. See you in a moment. Gone. Well ventilated room. So I don't start arguing with me guys. If this comes out good, I'll give it away. Yeah. So this would have taken about 20 minutes of that. So there's some musket balls in there and some used lead what I used before. So let's see it with the magic television. So, as you can see, the actual, no, oh, sorry, that's a three pounder. Yeah, rub one mark, get it right, there's a six pounder. So, as you can see, the cannon and the body is all one piece, and then it's just one wheel, and then I have to cast another wheel. And then, uh, industrialized rubber, and that will be pitch scale. I know uh, Kev, I think he kind of clamps them together. To say you can actually put um because sometimes the wheels don't work so, can't even really do stuff and you put a little cut so air can go through it so i found don't know if kev will agree but i just take mine round but not tight tight and a bit of lead will come out but it's showing that there's air getting into it and normally the wheels will work the spokes on the wheels there that's the worst thing so i'll take that up in a minute we'll just uh wait for the lead it's going to be another 10 15 minutes yet because i'm going to have to scoop some of the crap out of it because i'll put some fresh musket balls in there so we'll get back to you in a moment so you can see melted some crappy bits i've got to get off so i can do that now you can watch me. And I'm wearing my mask. So I'm just going to get some of the impurities out. Some of the crud ones left on there. Just take away the top layer. Special tin. I know Kev does make ingots before he does this. I'll 
seem to have no problem with it. That looks good. That looks good. Put that out of the way now. There goes Mark. There's rope. Where it goes. Right. I've got a mask on. It's all good. Honest kids. Right. So I'm going to spin you around so you can have a look at it live now. Looking good enough to me. So I'll get these uh, moulds set up. Here they are. So there's a the mould. The pouring holes. So I'm going to put some tape around there. Kip's probably screaming at me now. No, don't do it that way. Don't do it that way. But not back to success, success though, okay, Kev, so actually. Uh, but you can hear all that, I've got my mask on, guys. So. I'm protected from lead poisoning and coronavirus. Yeah. Good mask. Two in one. So, I've got my tape. I've got my tape, but it's totally fucked. <laughs> Get rid of there. Right. My holes. Right, so it's going out. Just get that on there and little squeeze and then get that round to there. So, not too much, there's a bit of air going go in there. So, I've got that like that. I'll just cut that off with scissors. Bang. Okay, we are good to pour. So, Hand you over to the other camera. We're going to go for live pouring. Hello. So, just get the lead. Get you out of the way. There we go, guys. Let's see. We might get some coming out, but this first one. And there's a the second one. Down there. Right. That's in there. The lid's all in there. You can smell that rubber. Just. Right. So we're gonna open that. Let's put you down here. And let's put you the camera down there. In a moment. There we go, guys. Move the small scissors. Right, put that open. I'm just going to open it up now. I know I've got gloves on, guys. And we've had a failure on the wheel. That's not a problem. As long as the carriage is okay. So that's. You can see. Some spokes have not worked. Uh, which one was it? Where have they worked? Oh, yeah, it does work. Yeah, all spokes have worked. See, all spokes have worked. I thought one was failed. So, there you go, guys. Right. So, set that up. It's still going to be up. So I just use my, with my little, my little, oh, where is it, there it is. I know you just guys are saying, wear gloves, Mark, wear gloves. It's all right. So I'm just going to prise this out, hopefully. So there it is, we'll just get it out of there. There we go, there we go. Here's a comment. Here's what's coming. I don't remember anything there, look. Right, is it coming? It's still got certain places. Not why. Right, let's put it upside down. Ah, it all comes out a lot better than this, that's for sure. Oh, that was causing that to stick in. 
we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. So I'm just going to get the uh, scissors to hold it. So you see the carriage base. And the wheel is the wheel is good. So I'm going to let that cool down, and then we'll cut the excess bits off. Right, so here we go guys, on Hunsby Manor. That was more or less cooled down now. A bit of warmth there, but nothing major. Won't really burn you on that. But you can see how big these clumps are onto there, and that causes a bit of a problem with this getting it ground down nicely. So, this bit will probably be speeded up. Let's go. guys I did a complete mould again um, and I was just going to do the wheel which has come out okay I thought I'd just do both sides so I've got an extra bit for another one so I'm going to let that cool down and then we'll get that wheel snipped and we'll put it onto the cannon see you in the mo. so here we go again guys didn't like that one last one so let's have a look at this one see if it's gone any better if I can get into it that is That. Open that up. What do you reckon? I think that's gone a lot better. Cool. Right, I'll get that cleaned up. See you later. There you go, guys. That's a couple of minutes, and that's cooled down. So I'm just going to try and snip this. Glasses on. So I'm just going to snip this bit up here. We'll snip. You see these scissors got a bit of curb on them. Found them quite useful. So just follow the curb around the wheel, the wheel then. Snip that up there, nice and gently. No rush on these. tidy this up and then we'll see what the actual cannon looks like so there you go guys it's not brilliant it is not brilliant but I'll tidy it up a bit obviously I haven't glued anything on it just pushed everything on there's a bit of a tidy up here and there as you can see it's not bad and it's a very difficult mould to do this one very good mold. Give it a tidy up. Bit of an imperfection there. So what I'll do actually I'll do a new central bit because the wheels are okay. So I'll do a new central bit. And I'll give that away on the Mark and Mark Saturday Night Live. So this will be a video well if you want to comment on it, I would like that. That's it, take care of Sorry, still eating your stuff. <laughs> Sorry, Kev, mate. But I'll give it away. I'll do a complete new middle bit. Carriage and uh, gun. So, yeah. If you comment on this, I would love that. And we'll do the random picker on Mark and Mark Saturday Night Live. Thank you, guys. Please comment below.
there's the three pounder and the six pounder. This is with the three pounder, that's got the mould a lot better because the can is, is separate. So they come out a lot better. But that is a very difficult one to do. So there you go. So we change that to I would love them in the comments. We'll do that Saturday night on Saturday night. I might come out Saturday night live. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. See you later.